All players, the girls are fighting. Y'all go ahead and grab your tea and have a seat, honey. Apparently, Rumpel McForehead is trying to remove Kevin McCarthy as Speaker of the House because he didn't move fast enough on President Biden's impeachment inquiry. Y'all go ahead and grab your tea and have a seat, honey. Let's talk about it. So yesterday, Rumpel McForehead, a.k.a. the privileged pervert, said that he wanted Kevin McCarthy removed as House Speaker and that he was going to move toward that because uh, Kevin McCarthy had not launched this impeachment inquiry into President Biden. Now, lo and behold... Kevin McCarthy goes ahead and launches this official impeachment inquiry into President Biden and his family today. So basically, the privileged pervert strong-armed Kevin McCarthy into launching this impeachment inquiry, especially without holding a vote on it. And he knows he doesn't have the vote, so that's the reason why he did it that way. But the privileged pervert is still not happy with Kevin McCarthy's performance as House Speaker. So you know what that means. The doors of the political theater are now open, and Rumpel McForehead is ready to give the performance of the century. Roll the clip. I rise today to serve notice. Mr. Speaker, you are out of compliance with the agreement that allowed you to assume this role. The path forward for the House of Representatives is to either bring you into immediate total compliance or remove you pursuant to a motion to vacate the chair. We have had no vote on term limits or on balanced budgets as the agreement demanded and required. There's been no full release of the January 6 tapes. As you promised, there has been insufficient accountability for the Biden crime family. And instead of cutting spending to raise the debt limit, you relied on budgetary gimmicks and rescissions so that you ultimately ended up serving as the valet to underwrite Biden's debt and advance his spending agenda. Mr. Speaker, you boasted in January that we would use the power of the subpoena and the power of the purse. But here we are, eight months later, and we haven't even sent the first subpoena to Hunter Biden. That's how you know that the rushed and you know, somewhat rattled performance you just saw from the Speaker isn't real. At this point, during Democrat control over the House of Representatives, they had already brought in Don Jr. three times. And we haven't even sent the first subpoena to Hunter Biden. Power of the subpoena and power of the purse. Only thing the 118th Congress is known for at this point is electing Kevin McCarthy speaker and underwriting Biden's debt. And Child, the political theater is open for business. With that performance, the privileged pervert could have been auditioning for Juilliard. Hell, he could get a starring role on Broadway. But here's the thing. Neither Kevin McCarthy nor any of the House Republicans done any of the things that they decreed and declared that they was going to do for the American people as a whole. I want you to tell me one meaningful piece of legislation that they have passed since taking over the majority. Oh, you, you don't have nothing, do you? Because they fucking have it. I declare, honey, it's a disgrace. So instead of doing things for the American people like they are paid to do, the privileged pervert and musty to the must pot Marjorie are over here arguing over who gets credit for this sham of an impeachment inquiry. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. Hey, it's the GQP. It's exactly what I expected. Players, put your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. This is Double D Mama for the Black Accurate News.